everyone, this is Abby from the Elsie Bates Museum. So I wanted to show you guys today how to make a really cool bird feeder, uh, just for stuff that you have at home. So today I was out in my backyard doing some gardening and I saw that um, the neighbor next to us had put up an orange feeder to feed the birds. And on that feeder, I saw an Oriole, which is kind of an orange and black bird, this one right here. They're really cool, really pretty, and they love to feed on oranges. So you can attract Orioles to your yard as well as some other birds by putting out uh, oranges. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make a really simple orange feeder, just with things that you probably have lying either outside or around the house. Um, so the first thing you're gonna need, I'll take this off, is a stick. So something that's thick enough uh, to hammer some nails into, um, but not something that's so thick that it's going to be really heavy. So something about this width is ideal. Uh, you're also going to need something to hang it with. So I have some yarn, which honestly is probably not the best thing. Um, if you have something that's sturdier, like twine, that'd be way better. But I'm just using what I have around my house. So there's that. You're also going to need some nails of course, a hammer, um, as well as, I have another one here, as these little screw and hooks, kind of like an eye hook. In fact, if you have an eye hook, that works even better. So the first thing you're going to do is um, you're going to screw in the little hooks. All right, so I have one on this side and I have one on the other. And I put mine on top just because it was easier because my stick had these branches coming out. Uh, but you can put them at the ends if you want or wherever you want to put them. Uh, so just to kind of demo, I'm going to finish screwing this guy in there. Choo -choo -choo. All right. And honestly, if you don't have any of these hooks at home, it's fine. You can just tie the string around the ends. This just makes it a little more sturdy. Um, I also think it looks better too since this is going to be in my yard. So there's that. And then the next step is you need to hammer in some nails. Now, the nails are what is going to be holding the orange. So you don't want to ha hammer them all the way in, just enough so that they're going to stay put. Um, so let me do that real quick where y'all can see. There we go. All right. So. I'll probably place three on here. I could probably fit four, but I don't see needing more than three oranges at a time. So I'm just going to hammer that in so it doesn't wiggle too much. Here, I'm going to put that back up now. Okay. And then, actually, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and place two. I'll just put one orange out at a time. Okay. So, there's two nails in there. Not completely straight. It's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. And kids, it, please don't do this by yourself. Okay, have a parent help you with the nails and the hammer. So, here is your feeder so far. We have our hooks and nails for the oranges and now we're going to add uh, our string or whatever we're using to hang it. Like I said, I have yarn, not the best. Twine works better. Even if you had some wire, that would be really great too. But since I'm using yarn, I'm actually going to double up um, just so it's a little stronger and sturdier since I'm not using the sturdiest material to hang it. So I'm just going to tie a knot or a couple knots at either end. Okay. All right, just to hold these two, two together. And then I'm going to tie it around my hook. And I'll knot it a few times. Uh, make sure it's really tight so that it stays put. So you're not. Should be 
something like that. Okay, so I'll do the same thing on the other side. Pretty simple so far. Okay, so here we have it. And if I needed to adjust the length or um, I needed to cut it so I could tie it around a tree branch, I could totally do that. But this is just so you can see how it's gonna look. Normally, if I was going to do this, I would just tie one end and leave the other end free for right now. All right, so that is our feeder. And now we need the oranges. So you're gonna cut an orange in half, okay, and cut it this way so you have the pretty inside. Okay, so if you have, here's a full orange. So pretend your orange is the earth, you would cut it along the equator. All right, so cut it in half this way. And then you would take one of these and you would flip it over, so this would be like your south pole. And you also need a knife. Sorry, I didn't mention that earlier. And what you're gonna do, I'll use this and this is better. So here's the bottom. You're going to, and once again, kids, get your parents to help you, please. Don't do this on your own. You're gonna cut a little X into it, which you should be able to see. I cut right there. Yeah. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your orange and where you cut that X, you just slide it onto the nail, like so. Now, I'm only going to put one orange on right now because I don't foresee needing more than one while we wait for birds to find this. Um, if I start seeing birds on the feeder, I'll go and add another one. But for right now, there's one for the birds and one for me. All right, so I'm not going to walk you guys outside to hang this up because my Wi-Fi does not stretch very far outside. Um, but I will post pictures so you can see what it looks like. And give this a try at home. Right now we're seeing lots of different birds and this is a really great way uh, to do something fun in your backyard. And you can even hang it to where you can see it from a window and uh, you can view it from inside too, which is pretty neat. All right, so y'all have a wonderful afternoon and get outside and get birding. Bye.